Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by today to see what I am up to. I have two bags here, like one this size, I'm just gonna put that down on the floor, see there's no dress label anywhere, which there is. And I have another bag here, and this is Amazon Prime Wardrobe. I think it's technically boxed, but it's my eighth time getting it. Just want to adjust the light if I can get it with that. Okay. But before I start that, I have a box here, and this came from Nordstrom Rack, and this is um, from Sam Edelman. I have had these on like my little watch list forever. I mean, months. And finally, they were on clearance, and I picked them up. I do not remember the price, but I think it was under. $25 or under $30 and I have been one like I said been wanting these for the longest time and these are Sam Edelman sneakers right here and these are leather beautiful nice white bottom um, like I said I have been wanting them for so long but was not paying the price of of these I will try these on when I do try on I still have to do my um, Stitch Fix try-on, so between the Amazon try-on and the Stitch Fix try-on, I will have these on. And these are, um, it says Ethel Black. I don't know what that was. And these are a six medium. So we'll put these here and we'll get started on the Amazon bags. First, take everything out of the first bag and see. And um, this was just one order, but they seem to ship in bag. They used to come in a box, but now they're coming in bags, which is fine. Um, and they seem to be shipping in multiples, multiple bags, which I'm all right with. It doesn't matter. I do think you take these back to UPS, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, UPS. So um, I'll just put everything in one bag and use um, what you get a return label, which I'm going to try to cover up here, return label to use. And then there is a little, I just don't want this to un, be not sticky. Um, you get like what was in each bag, you get a receipt. So, you know, the pricing. So let's do the first two things. Oof, I don't know where to start. So there's number one. And number two, so I'll open up one. And these are, if I could see, Hanes. I think this is the Hanes. Hanes Women's Oh So Light Comfort Flex Fit Wire Free Bra. And white and black. The white was $12.19. And then the black was $13.94. Great price for a bra, I think. As long as they're uh, good, so we'll open and I'll show you. Obviously, I'm not going to try these on for you, but and I think I got these in a large, so I'm not sure. I might have to get them in a medium. I never know when I order stuff like this, um, you know, what size, just because it doesn't go by like you know 36 or 30 whatever, 34. So it's like kind of. Yeah, I did get these in a large, and I think originally this says $16.99 on it, but I, if I could just hold it up, it would be a miracle. <sighs> okay, let's figure this out. That's inside. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, come on. So that's what this looks like right here. There is a little bit of mesh, like for breathability in there. Not a wide band, which is good. Adjustable skinny strap, and it is a metal little adjuster and in the back of course this is like inside out oh having a hard day here's the back portion so it's more the mesh from like the side panel on and it is three rows of three clips so that's that one and I know the black's the same I'll open the black one just to show you the black one if I could just figure out just got to keep everything in the bags which is kind of a pain in my opinion so that is that. Let's see this one. And this is a large too. So when I try them on, if they're too big, I'll just reorder in a medium. So that's not a problem. Here's the black. Same way, um, you know, with that. And here's the back with the mesh. And 
wire free, no real padding, just like for privacy, you know, so you don't see anything like through like a t-shirt or something like that. And for the price, I, I mean, I refuse to spend $30, $40 for a bra. I don't have a big enough bust or to warrant that. I mean, I do have a few that are really good, but you know, I find I don't wear them. Honestly, I like more comfort uh, for that. So we'll put those back there. So I gave you the prices. This next thing is a top. I think it's like a sweater. And this is, I think, Roxy. Yeah, this is Roxy Women's Lovely Life Top in Ash Rose. Um, I got a medium, which is US 7 to 9, 4172. Well, that's expensive. I don't remember that price being that expensive. But I might have picked it just because I liked the top. And this is more just lightweight, which I prefer. So this is like a lightweight top right here, a little slit on the side, a little like the uh, kangaroo pocket, you know, the go through pocket. a little slit on the side. It has the little Roxy emblem. Um, the back is just straight. I'll show you the back and it has like a little hoodie, which I'm generally not a fan of the hoodies, long sleeve, but lightweight for the like fall winter. I don't like heavy, heavy. And then it does have a hood v-neck which i don't know if i got to show you that in the beginning you'll definitely see it on try on v-neck with the like the uh, rope pull which i think is kind of cute i don't like super super heavy sweaters um i just don't find it's necessary for me so that's one item and then i got a pair of leggings which i'm always on the hunt for leggings and these are black uh, let me find these now. Hmm. Oh, no nonsense. Women's cotton legging, black, size medium, $12.56. Let's open, you know, that's about my speed for pricing for leggings. I, I some of the boxy one or the boxy, the Stitch Fix ones I love, but for the price, no, I can get like four pair of leggings for one of theirs and what does this say on here smart temp adjust to keep you comfortable so that's a little tag there now i'm not going to pull these out of the box just yet and it does give you you know the sizing on the back so these are probably just going to be a standard legging but i will you know i will try them on and pull them out at that point so that's the leggings just trying to keep everything in this packaging i think that's how you have to send it back i've never seen otherwise so i'll just keep everything in the in the bag and then try it on so that's that bag and then the other bag here another bag let's just try to take stuff out okay and you do it i mean you get it pretty quick and you have seven days to make up your mind i'm coming up close to that right now so i want to get this done so you normally you get it like this if it's all together but they just send this all in the one and then you are um, labels here along with your little receipt so let's do the first thing I see and I'm trying again with these tanks so this is uh, Haynes women's stretch cotton cami with built-in shelf bra I can't find one that doesn't have it and this is paleo pink ten dollars just like they were before so I'm hoping this one I don't know I did I, I don't remember if I what size I did the last time but it's just your basic you know tank top adjustable which I love thin strap so I'm gonna see how I what I think of this I'm just gonna put these bags inside the clothes and stop messing around with that so I don't even if I can't get it to match the color of my sweater I'll donate the sweater like I'm done playing with with that here i have another sweater which i'm loving like the cardigan stuff here and this is from pretty garden women's long sleeve open front knitted cardigan sweater button down chunky it says outerwear coat with pockets but i don't think from what i read in the reviews that this is a true outerwear it's just like a little chunkier sweater and this is in tan this is 29.99 a little bit pricey but not for a cardigan really and this is a large because I wasn't sure and none of the reviews really gave me a order true to size go up go down so I figured a large and 
this is just your basic, you know, button down cardigan right here, you know, like more like cable, cable knit. Back is just straight down. There are pockets and the, you know, the brown buttons. So this looks cute. Um, so we'll see. Oh, I cannot pull this up right. I hate to like totally trash them and then when you try them on everything is so wrinkled. But if I like this and if this, depending on the fit, um, I can always send it back and get a medium. I think the large might be too big just because I really am a true medium. I don't know why I do large, but I try to do that to just, I don't know. I, I, I'm stuck on the large and I know I'm not a large and especially for that because usually they're bigger. So the next item is something in black. Let me see if I can find it. Um, is this no nonsense? I have no idea. That's a medium, so it has to be this one. Hanes Women Stretch Jersey Bike Shorts Black Medium 957. I forgot. Let me try these and see what I think of these. So these are just like, you know, your biker short style, you know, no pockets, nothing more for casual, just hanging around. Um, I tried a pair before, but I didn't like the material so much. So I figured I would um, give these a try and the price is just right. And then the last thing in here is another pair of leggings. I think they're the same leggings, but I just got them in. Blue, no nonsense, women's cotton leggings, twilight, and this is a medium 1264. So these are just the same leggings that I have in the black, but in navy. So we'll give them a try and see what I think. And we'll move right on to the try on. Be back in just a moment. The first item that I have on are the Hanes Women's Stretch Jersey Bike Shorts Black. These are a large. These are $9.57. I think these are fine. They're not tight at the bottom of the leg, which I like. Perfect length. They feel like you have nothing on, honestly. I don't think I would necessarily, I mean, if I'm just out and about, like, in, on my property or staying in, I think I would wear these. These would be great to sleep in for $10. The fit is good. I, you know, I like them. You know, get camel toe, which is fine. Um, if I bring that, you know, I have a longer t-shirt on, but I think these are good and might be a keeper. Um, let me try the leggings and maybe the sweater. And I'm just trying to keep everything from one bag together this way because I think I have to ship them back in two bags. I'm not really sure. So these might be a keeper. Let me know what you think of these. Like I said, I think for $9.57. I could wear, you know, with the t-shirt on, if I had to quick run to the store, I mean, I could. So, I mean, there's nothing overly, they're no different than any other really pair of shorts. Um, but these are so comfy. Literally, there's nothing digging and there's room in the waist. I think a medium might have been too tight or maybe they might have been tighter at the leg, but I kind of like that they're looser at the leg. So, let me move on to some other items. I have on the new nonsense women's cotton leggings twilight these are like a navy and these are a medium $12.64 they're too big they're just too big up top at the waist uh, just too big I mean they're comfortable they're you know the length on them is a little bit long but I'm okay with that um, but I definitely have to get a medium I mean a small they're just I don't know if you can see, they're just way too loose, which is good. I don't think I'm really truly a small. These must run big. So these would have to go back. I thought maybe these were a large, but they are a medium. Yeah, these are a medium. So these are going to have to go back for small. So when I get to the other bag, I'm not going to try the black ones on and take them all out of the package because I know they're the exact same things in medium. So I will reorder these in a small, $12.64. Just like I was saying against Stitch Fix, $44 pair. I can get four pair of these and still be at around that $44 mark. Maybe slightly above, but I have four pair of leggings that are just as comfortable and I could wear them in the winter. I could wear these now. Um, today's a cooler day. I think we're like high 60s, low 70s. It's rainy, it's cold. Um, 
I could have, a, I have shorts on actually today because I'm in the house because it's raining. But I could put a pair of these on today and be just as comfortable in the house. And if I had to go out, I would still be fine. Um, so I will reorder these and the black ones in small at $12. And I think the black ones were $13, which is fine. Um, the other items in this, oh, the sweater. I could probably, let me, um, I have a tank top. I'm not going to try the tank top on just like I did prior. That to me is an undergarment. But let me um, unpackage the sweater and be back with the sweater. This is the Pretty Garden Women's Long Sleeve Open Front Knitted Cardigan Sweater. Button down, chunky outerwear coat with pockets and tan. It's $29.99. This is a large and um, not knowing because the refuse did not help. Uh, sleeve length I'm never concerned about because I can always just do a cuff and then it's pretty much fine. But I don't mind my excuse me my sleeve slightly longer this is just massive i need to get a medium to have it fit the way i want this is just if i button this this is just too big but it is cute i love this i'd love like a cable knit it, and i could wear it in the fall um as an outer because it is heavier and closed more closed weave um going from door to car and if i'm not really I'm just I don't like heavy that's why I like the vest I don't like a heavy heavy coat unless I'm outside for a period of time yeah then I'm putting my winter coat on but I think this with um, a cute t-shirt in the winter to extend the life of my t-shirts would be great but I, I like the tan because it's neutral it'll go with anything I could wear it with blue um, black um, really anything if I, if I had white jeans on or white shorts on I could wear it in like if it's a chilly September night or October if I'm still wearing shorts I could throw this on and be nice and comfy um, this will have to go back and go to the medium and they have tons of colors and now with Amazon I cannot link the items in my that I got in my description box Amazon does not like that and neither does YouTube so um, I can just list them and maybe give you an item number, but I can't give you a link. But uh, this is a great sweater. $30 I don't think is a lot because this I think you can get lots of use out of. Just order true to your size. Like I am a medium, but sometimes with cardigans I would go to the large because I like them to be comfy, cozy, slightly oversized. But this is just way too oversized. I mean, I could wrap it all the way around again. So... I, I would like it to be able to, if I wanted to button it all the way down, just to be slightly loose, but this one's definitely too big. Medium would be perfect. Now, I tried on the the tank. This, it just doesn't match the sweater. So what, instead of me continuing to play around trying to get a tank top that will match underneath the sweater that I'm looking for, I think I'm just going to donate the sweater because this is getting crazy trying to find, this is too pink. And the sweater is more like a pinky peach. So even white didn't look right underneath of it. That's all I could see was the tank. And I don't like that. So rather than me mess around with this kind of stuff, I think I'll just donate the sweater. Like, I don't even want to wear it in the house because you really can't see through it. I mean, I could wear it in the house. Let's face it. I'm in my own home. It's okay if you see a little bit of skin. If you see my bra, it's not a big deal. Um, but I would never wear it out. Now, if I wore that, I would have to put a cardigan on top. To go out so that's why i think i'll just donate the sweater i got it from oof, maybe fashion a year or so ago i love it it's comfortable but it's just if i'm having that much of a hard time because you can see through it i mean you really can see through it then i'll just donate the sweater it's cheaper and easier i cannot find a tank if, even a peach and it's so hard to find a peach tank top maybe a light peach might work better uh before I donate the sweater, I'll see if I can find a light peach one. But you got, I don't want, like that is too pink and the shirt is pink, but it's more on the pink peachy. So it's just, uh, that's it. The tank top is a no and go back. The fit is great and I like that, but I just have no need for it. And the tank top was, I think, $10. Um, yeah, the Hanes Women's Stretch Cotton Canami with built-in shelf bra, paleo pink. And that's a large $10. So that'll go back and I'll just stop playing around with the tanks unless I can find one that's light peach. So let me come back. I still have, uh, I think another sweater. This is the Roxy women's lovely life top 
Ash Rose. This is a medium, forty-one seventy-two. I don't mind it for leggings. It's right at the top of my leg. It has a nice little slit. Here's the back with the hood. I love the, you know, the through pocket. I think it's really cute. This doesn't even bother me. I could always take it out if I really wanted to. I can feed through another thing or just have nothing. I think the length of the sleeves is fine. It's comfortable. It's not heavy. The V's okay. I just $41? No, I don't remember that being the price when I picked it. So the price had to have gone up. I This is just like a Stitch Fix top, $40. And it is cute, and I think I would get a lot of wear out of it. I could wear it with blue, black, gray, almost any color. Um, I just don't think I'll keep it, honestly. I'm not real sure, though. So let me know what you think of this. I don't know if it looks a little sloppy. And I still have the blue leggings on, um, that I, but I will uh, exchange them. The other items that was in this box are the two bras, black and white. I tried the white one on. Um, for the price of, let me find, the black one is $13.94, and then the white one was $12 something, $12.64. I'm not sure if I'll keep them or not. Um, I, I have a little bit of time, so I'll think about them. The price is great, the fit is phenomenal. I'm not used to that kind of a cup personally, so it might just be me just getting used to that, but I like the thinner straps, the, all the mesh for breathability. They're really nice. And then the other item were the black leggings that match these blue ones, which I'm not going to open and try on because they're the same medium, um, right? Medium, no nonsense. Black leggings in medium, $12.56. They're, they're, they're going to be, they're the same exact as these. So they're going to be too big. So these, the black and the blue, I will reorder in a small. I like the biker shorts, so I'm not really sure. Let me gather my, get back in my own clothes, gather my thoughts, and I'll be back with my final thoughts. This is my final thoughts and little final recap. The, um, the black, the white bra is $12.19. Give it a little bit of thought. I'm filming this maybe like a half an hour later. I'm going to keep the bras because for $12 for one and the other one was how much? The black one was, no, why can I not find that? Are they both on the same sheet? Yeah, they both are. So the white one was, no, oh, I keep I'm losing my mind. The white one was twelve nineteen, and the thirteen ninety four was the black one. So I'm going to keep both of those. I think. Um, I think I could get used to that style cup where it's that molded all one piece. That's not what I'm used to. I'm used to like a traditional style. But for the price, the comfort, they're comfortable. I'm going to keep them because I'm not spending. I don't like spending thirty plus dollars for a bra. Um, the top from Roxy, the, the Ash Rose, forty-one seventy-two. I'm going to return that. I think it looked, the more I looked at it, kind of sloppy looking. And I don't like to look sloppy. I mean, I don't, oh, like, I'm extremely casual. T-shirt, I have a pair of navy shorts on. And I kept the navy leggings on. Um, I don't like to look sloppy. I don't care if I look casual or, like, I've been lounging. But I don't like to look sloppy when I get dressed. And the price is kind of high, so that's going to go back. So then it's black leggings, blue leggings, and these are the um, no-nonsense women's cotton leggings. Black medium was $12.56, and the navy was $12.64. They're going to go back and be returned for smalls. I do. I love these, and... Uh, they had a dark gray. I might order them also. And I'm still not at the $44 for the Stitch Fix ones. The biker shorts. Hmm. Where are they at? Uh, I think it was on the sweater paper. Yeah, the Hanes Women's Stretch Jersey Bike Shorts Black Large. They're $9.57. I think I'm going to keep them too. And I think that's everything. I don't think I missed anything. If I did, I'm so sorry. But I will list everything in my description box. In each little video clip of me trying the items on, I'll list them with the price. 
Um, maybe I'll put the um, item numbers there versus at the very end. I can give you a total of what this box will cost me if I would have kept everything. What I love about um, Amazon is try everything on. You have seven days to decide what you love. Compl complete your purchase or return at Amazon.com at your orders. And then you return your items. You put them in the bag or box and take them back to um, a UPS store near you. Um, and it says, how do I return my order if it comes in more than one package? You can return your items in any package using any of the included labels. So I'll squeeze everything in one bag and use one label. Why well, ship it back in two? Um, if you miss your return, you have seven days. If you go on the eighth day to check out, they're going to charge you for everything. Then when you return it, you'll have to wait for a credit. So be mindful. You cannot extend your return date um, from Amazon Prime Wardrobe. They do have a stylist um, box. Uh, I think that's $4.99 a month, and that's a continual charge each month until you cancel out of that program. But then a stylist picks your items. You get a preview. You tell her what eight items or however many items they put in your bag or box, and they'll ship them to you. I like finding them myself because they're things that I've chosen, and whether size be off or not, a stylist could get the sizes wrong. So this is box number eight, or bags number eight for Prime Wardrobe. I love the hunt of finding the stuff. Sometimes it takes me a couple weeks to find, and I always try to get the eight items in my, in my order before I ship it. But um, I can go back in for my next Prime Wardrobe, put the leggings in, put the sweater in, in a, in, a, in a smaller size, and have that come to me in the next Prime Wardrobe. I can retry them on, make sure they're good. I'm not paying for it until I keep them. So I might do that, and I've done that in the past when I wanted to exchange for size. And I might look for some other like lightweight sweaters for the fall and winter. And God knows what else I'll find to make up my eight items. I might pick two sweaters because they do have a nice, um, like, light pink sweater. And the tan, I think those colors would go with almost anything. Black, blue, gray, anything that I have on bottom-wise would match since they're solids, any print top. And $30, I don't think, is that bad for that heavy of a sweater. So tell me in the comments down below what you thought of this one. Have you ever tried a Amazon Prime wardrobe? Now, you have to be a Prime member. Um... So, I mean, if you're a Prime member, I think this is a great way to try things without being charged for them. If you love, if you loved everything that you got in your box, check out, you're keeping everything, then they will charge your card. But for the week that you've had your box, you didn't pay for it. Like, I don't mind ordering from Amazon. You get it, you pay for it, you get it, it doesn't fit. You have to send it back, wait for the credit, reorder. See, this way I'm not being charged that initial charge. That's why I love this. I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you so much for watching and sticking through to the end with me. And I will see all of you in my next video. Bye-bye now.